What's up guys, Barry Game here back with some more Idle Heroes and today we're going to be doing something we probably should have done on our free to play account a while back. And yeah, this is, this is, again, this is probably a decision that should have been coming quite a while longer. What we really need to do on this account is we just need to put every ounce of power into our main damage dealer. It just seems like us splitting our power is kind of just detrimental to the overall power of our account. Putting all these other resources onto the tenants of this hero as well, as well as just really ramping up their tenant location. Uh, so this is going to be an investment of gems here and soul symbols and all that fun stuff. We're going to try to preserve as much as possible on like our rolls and everything, although it's not that big of a deal. But let's see what we can do here today. So number one, we always have to just get rid of like, just get rid of all these heroes. Um, you know, I, I just don't know what we're going to do just yet. So I'm going to grab a bunch of these heroes out of here. Probably need to take them all out of star arena as well is fine it's not like we care about that and what we need to do is we need to get those resources back but sadly you can't just like remove these resources here like you, you just can't like get rid of it so here's what we have to do number one we have to come over here and waste some gems simply removing them well actually technically yeah it's gonna be what two thousand to remove them from the houses which again kind of sucks it's a gem sink that is not good but we don't really care about gems this week and then beyond that uh i think the smart move is going to be replacing this hero and then replacing it back that way this aspen copy keeps the stones and everything he has so what we can do here is we can literally just like swap it into a doom terminator vulcan here 10 soul symbols, we got plenty here. What this right here is gonna do is going to basically rip that hero out, but it's gonna give all these resources back that we need. Then simply what we do here, we chuck this in, we chuck this in, and we have our Lord of Fear Aspen back just at an E5 hero. But you know what, hold on, just before we even do that, let me take a look at something because maybe it's time we completely rethink how we're doing this. So um honestly that's a better copy there with the mock man i'm wondering if we should go ahead and build transcendence heroes to be tenants as well that's that's an interesting pickup here that is actually interesting hyperspace hunter isla mock we're kind of going away from like the way we were building this previously man hmm Problem is we can't build him because we don't have the copies. We've only got literally one copy. Um, and I don't think, I mean, I guess we open this. It's still not gonna help. Oh man, the struggle here is real. Even these chests probably don't have him in it. Nope, so we can't really build him. We could, however, build Jara. And Jara might be a better pickup on this account because she can be a tenant for him. And then we can invest in resources in here. Whoop, not that one there. Um, that might be the better option here. Gasai is a really crappy one. I think we might actually do that. I think we might actually do that. The question is now, do we have the jar copies? We've got one there. Oh, Lord. Are jars in here yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have a lot of jars and then i made the decision nah we're never gonna need those hero copies we're just not um so we got these are the newer ones right yeah so we got one copy there two three four five six seven eight nine and we could build her and use her as a tenant plus on top of that she would be some pretty good cc just running her with like energy potentially uh, just to try to keep our team alive for like an extra round or so. I'm also going to be probably considering getting rid of the PDE. But I think maybe getting rid of the PDE for Jar instead is the better play. Yeah, I think that's I think that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to go to the Evolution Cube. We're going to replace you back with the Aspen. Because I, I just really like the Lord Fear Aspen combo. It's just so, so good. Having two heroes like that, yeah. I mean, we could go for a queen as well, just for that additional all damage dealt. Man, there's so many options to go with. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to replace here back. 
So we get our Lord of Fear Aspen back. That's good. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to replace you and we're going to make a Jara. I think that is what I have decided. The question is, on top of that, <laughs> do we have the food to even do that? Uh, what we can do is we can straight up swap this Azrael. So we need nine copies total. So we got one, two, three. Oh man, I gotta not go too far. <laughs> Four, five, six. Let's use these chests. Seven, eight. Let's do the swap first and just make sure I'm counting this up right. Oh geez, this could be devastating. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just convert. Oh, do, do, do. oh my god, interdimensional reading yet again. I was like, I know interdimensional reading is gonna bite me in the butt. Uh, we'll just do this since we already have a decent amount invested there. We'll keep the regular Elena, I guess. Well, hold on. We could do the Annabelle. Nah, might as well do this. Might as well. So let's do a convert here. Grab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's the eight copies. We're going to do one more. <sighs> okay, so yeah, we need the last copy here, which we'll grab from here. There we go. And we do have to finish actually building her on top of that. Wait, <laughs> I didn't think that through. Um, we should be good. Should be is the big keyword here. Um, okay. If we have to, we'll just regress something else. It's fine. It's fine. We'll we'll be okay, guys. Everything will be fine. Um, okay. So we're just gonna go to this enable setup here. We're gonna need to get her some gear. That's for sure um let's upgrade this to here we do need to get a soul awakening as well and we just got a free one so this could be good question mark hopefully it's not an e tier the d tier i mean it's better than nothing for the time being and then what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the evolution cube here we are going to replace you with you and have a Starwing jar instead and again get all those resources back so okay we need we need to change this up now yep jar <laughs> jar is the new pick here so 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 we are we still have a skin here which we can use you're there oh man we need like gear and stuff now because we got like this priest gear honestly we could swap to like a resonant suit or we could just make a mage resonant suit of gear <laughs> oh my god oh my god we need some gear here uh it's gonna tap out a lot of our resources but i think this is gonna be the play unless did we have any other mage sets i don't think we did did we assassin assassin ranger no that is a big old N-O. So we could just build a suit. That that could work fine. We're going to need a couple pieces of gear here and there, though. Actually, you know what? We might need boots, too. We're just going to build a couple of each of these because gold really is not an issue for us. I don't think we're going to need a ton. But the hard swap here is going to be painful. And then all the power into our hero my goodness all right so we need a mage set of gear rip gems and then we need to go to a mage set of gear here rip gems even more um hero resonance oh man this is gonna suck <laughs> let's start converting and see if we can actually hit what we need because we need to get this jara up and running and then we need to reallocate all of our resources as we see fit among all of our other heroes potentially getting as many of them to like v3 plus as possible for our mockman and then investing the rest into our jara our starwing jar that we now have oh uh, this is gonna take a while right here i think i might come back and do this later because <laughs> putting you guys through this is always the pain in the butt okay we'll we'll come back for the proper resident suit gear setups here uh, but that does mean you get that. You don't get that. You you get that one. You're going to get Melodic. I'm thinking a round one active might be good. Uh, but for the time being, I think running the Rui will be fine. We're going to need a better stone to block HP. is not going to cut it. 
I want something speed related, honestly. Whether it's speed attack or speed... I mean, no, I don't want to go HP, HP. I want... Actually, you know what? She technically is a tenant. That's not bad. It really isn't that bad. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> we got to do even more stuff over here, which includes resetting buildings. Yes. Even more gems going down the drain. Ugh. Big oof. Big, big oof. Um, Do we reset these two? Maybe. We'll see. Uh, and then we just recently start. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to reset. <laughs> Goodbye, all of our gems. Oh, how you'll be missed. All right. So, anyway, let's go back over here and try to invest as much as possible. We need to get the main room leveled up. Let's just get this going up to here. Level 60 on all these nodes. That's good. Don't care about the aura just yet. All right. We need to upgrade this. Oh, no. We might need those resources. Although, I don't think it's nearly going to be enough. Wait, is it? Was that enough, actually? Oh, my God, it is. So we can continue leveling these up. That is amazing. All right, so I think we have enough toolboxes here. I need to make sure I do the Jara one for sure because Jara is going to be one of my most powerful nodes. This means we get a lot more power on our main hero here. And we're tapped out of almost all, re actually, all resources. So up into the 70s, though, and that is a really nice little boost there. Everything else should be fine, right? Yep, yep. Yep, all those things are good. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do next. I know, this is a little wonky what we're doing here. Uh, yeah, sure, you can keep that. We might still use Elena in some content. We'll just have to see. Uh, let's see if we can get him up to Origin 5 now. I just, oh, oh, I don't know if we have, the, do we have what we need to get him up to Origin 5? Is that more worthwhile? Because we're only upgrading fixed stats here. I think first things first, I want to do this. I want to get a couple heroes up to V4. I think even our Lord of Fear Aspen, I want to get up to V4, I think. Although maybe not. I don't know. V4 gives them the extra speed and everything, which is like pretty huge. We got to see what we have food for as well, because we might have to regress a hero, but that's not a big deal since we don't need their tenants as much anymore. Uh, but definitely Jara is going up to the max here. All right. So, yeah, V4 Jara is there. Do we have extra sublimation stuff? That's for passive. No, we don't have it for an active ability. I was going to say if we had it for active, I would consider investing more in her. Although, maybe we just leave her as is. And we work on the other tenants before even going for the Lord of Fear Aspen. I feel like that's probably the better play here. What percentage? Yeah, because I don't think going for Origin 5 really... I mean, it does give him more levels, though. And more stats. What do we have? Let's take a look. Stellar Shards. What's our count at? So we get, like... We could get all the rest of the tenants pretty much v3 plus with their attack node and i think that's going to be the play i think let's do that first let's do that so let's get this going the problem again is probably going to end up being food we're going to need more 10 stars that's that's going to mean we're going to have to do some some restructuring on this entire account but again, we want this Mockman to be as strong as possible and getting these stronger tenants and that much better building is going to help. And we're going to go for the attack node here. So, yeah, we might actually be able to get all of these tenants good to go here. On Kirimaru's next. Well, actually, let's do Eloise. Let's do Eloise next here. So we'll get you going here. I think we have enough exactly. And then what we can do. Yeah, and actually, no, we're short. Shoot, 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 shoot. We're short. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> we have to keep trying more things because these are not going to work the way we want. We get this here. Yeah, we're going to be two 10 stars short, which means I'm going to have to regress something, I guess. Um, I guess it's the Saya because she just really doesn't fit on this account anymore. Oh my god, interdimensional arena again. Everybody just keeps getting stuck in there. 
Goodbye, get out of there. Back to Sai. Because <laughs> she's the only, like, non-shadow and dark hero, so it feels weird having her. Let's just straight up regress her, get those resources, and then that means we can now come on over to you and invest resources here. Actually, we probably can't get all the way up to V3+. Plus. That is going to be our next goal, is just finishing out this last tenant. But the goal here is to make sure our Mockman is just the most overpowered human you'll ever see. Uh, I think what we might do as well is now that we can, can we can kind of like combine a lot of these demon bells. Wow, we actually almost did it though. Pretty close. We're getting there. We're almost there. Uh, I'm glad I didn't put any origin here or any more additional origin over to him either. Uh, and honestly, probably running her with like an upgraded demon bell or something will be a good look for her as well. Her speed's kind of slow. Which might affect her and we don't have a skin at all i don't think Do we have one of those premium chests i don't think so no and do we have a skin vouchers piled up we only got 40 so that's not enough to buy it so sadly that's not gonna happen but what that does mean now is we put all of our power into here and we're going to have to just continue on. Well, I mean, it's a lot more power he's got, right? I'm going to have to check from reference in the beginning of the video to see what his attack was. We're at 2.7 million. It's not, it's not amazing, but it's not bad. And now we have, like, double CC or so. Uh, that's where we're at. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. We might actually be back later today to, <laughs> to have another episode on the free-to-play account because I'm kind of hyped to try some things out. And I'll see you guys next time.